Command and Conquer Red Alert. Released in 1996, the fast-paced war game put millions of players in command of vast armies and high-tech weapons of devastation. It quickly became one of the most popular computer games ever created. Today, Westwood is hard at work on the highly anticipated sequel, Red Alert 2. The visionary behind the Command and Conquer series, Brett Sperry. The exciting thing about Red Alert 2, and the reason why we decided to create Red Alert 2, was um, the setting was so rich. You know, the whole idea of the Allies and the Soviets, and it's an alternate history tale. That's what this is all about. In a lot of ways, it's tough building a sequel to a game as popular as Red Alert. Uh, it's a tightrope walk. We want to thrill and excite the two million people that have already bought the game, yet keep a very careful balance of adding more new and fun things to continue to excite them and make them want to buy the sequel. Red Alert 2 is all about fast, fun, and accessible gameplay. The result is a game full of strategic depth and high-intensity action. The real ideas behind Red Alert 2 are to give the player lots of options and lots of choices that he can be creative with in the gameplay. And this applies to the units where you know, each unit has multiple different roles um, that it can take on. Red Alert 2 offers an arsenal of multiplayer game variations and nine different countries to command. Players around the world can battle over the internet or over a local network. Oh, oh come on! Where did that come from? But of course, Red Alert 2 is not just a multiplayer game. The single player game is driven by the epic story of the Soviet minutes invading America. As always, Westwood's production values are motion picture quality. Romanov, Alexei Romanov, he's the uh, premier. He grew up in the, during the Red War. Uh, it was when he was a young man. He saw uh, the war have a great effect against his family, etc. Um, one day, one day when he can finally show the Allies, the uh, Soviet Union is for real, and you better take us seriously, so much so that we're just going to be marching all over your homeland. Westwood used its in-house studio to film such stars as Carrie Wurr, Ray Wise, and Udo Kier. Um, I am Special Agent Tanya, and I am sent by the United States government to save the world from the Russians. And uh, I get to keep butt. And I, uh, I'm very serious and very into what I do, and a little sardonic. And uh, I get to, to interact with the game player and sort of play with them a little bit and encourage them to do better job. Well, in uh, Red Alert 2, I play President Dugan. I play uh, a kind of um, Kennedy-esque uh, president who uh, is under attack by the Soviet Union. And, he, and uh, during the course of the game, he has to go through uh, uh, quite a few uh, difficult situations. I can't wait, really, to... Uh, to see myself in this computer game, on a computer, and be able to play, play myself. Emmy award-winning makeup and special effects artists bring the story's fantastic characters to life. I'm sitting here very happily, having makeup uh, done for us, you documented it for four hours or five, and I feel very good. On the Soviet side, probably my favorite unit right now of all time is Yuri. He is so cool. There he is on the battlefield with his little trench coat and all the little sayings. He's so powerful the way he can take over any unit and now it's yours and you can control it. The Soviet menace invading America. The battles burning in the shadows of beloved national monuments. Strange new weapons of mass destruction. Red Alert 2 promises to deliver one of the most intense war game experiences ever. It's just, it's just, it, there's such a symmetry in this product more than anything we've done before. And there's so many little special moments and attention to detail. I think the, uh, the fans are going to have a riotous time with it.